Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And I saw a question recently and I thought it's a very interesting question somebody asked. The question was, why does astrology not make sense sometimes, right? So you keep seeing videos or you read articles and we get confused. There is sometimes too much over generalization or there are so or there is so much uh, emphasis on specific details that we miss out on the overall picture. So why does it happen that uh, we are either zooming in too much or zooming out too much, right? So for example, if we sometimes feel that certain things which we see in videos, why do they not apply to me? Right. So, for example, I have like uh, 1500 videos in my channel, especially I have a playlist uh, uh, Ascendance. Right. So in that playlist, <laughs> it's very interesting whenever I see uh, the comments there. <clears throat> like, for example, it is Ascendant Secrets. Right. So I have Taurus Ascendant Secrets also. So in that video, Whenever I see somebody is commenting, it is either out of two, two things. Oh, what you said about Taurus Ascendance, does it match with me, right? So some Taurus Ascendant is watching. Or they will say, oh, what you said doesn't match with me, right? So why this happens is because there is an inherent intrinsic assumption that uh, all Taurus Ascendants have to be the same. Right, they have to like food, they have to like perfumes, they have to like uh, moving, going to different places. They, they, they are charmed by the opposite sex, or they are charmed by vehicles, anything that looks or feels good or appears good. <laughs> so, every Taurus ascendant has to be like that, otherwise, how can that person be Taurus? Right. We always have this, like if you go in the normal circles, they will say, oh, he's Taurus, you know, she's Aries, you know, whatever. Somebody is this, somebody is that. So that's like a over, over, super duper ultra generalization. Okay. What we, and sometimes they say, oh, okay. Uh, I have Venus in third house in uh, Ardhra Nakshatra. I should be like this. I should be like that. So that's like, you are becoming too focused on one thing and you are ignoring uh, everything else, right? So whenever we see such individual videos, we may get this feeling that astrology does not make sense, right? But actually it does if you do it in a proper way, right? So for example, whenever we are doing astrology uh, readings or we are learning astrology, we have to understand certain fundamentals, irrespective of which system of astrology you follow, you have to understand that there are inherent principles within a chart which are like the guiding principles of the horoscope. And then we have the dashas, right? Either you take uh, Vimshotri, Mahadasha, you take Antar Dasha or Pratyantar, or you take Jaimini Chara Dashas or you take Yogini Dasha, whichever Dasha you take, that's up to you whichever works best in that situation. But the problem is people, what they will do is, uh, and of course, there's the third level, which is transits. So people will just mix up these things somehow, right? So they will say, oh, actually, you know, my life is bad because, you know, I'm running Sade Sati now. You know, my life is good because I am running Venus Dasha. Generally, people think, oh, Venus or Jupiter Dasha comes, life is great. So the thing is, or people just think, oh, Shani Dasha will be terrible, Rahu Dasha will be terrible, right? Um, whatever, Ketu Dasha is terrible, Sun Dasha is bad, Mars Dasha is bad, Moon Dasha is question mark, Mercury Dasha may be or may not be nice or bad, but Jupiter Venus has a reputation, always good, right? It's a reputation, not a truth. So the first thing is you have to always understand that the horoscope decides the nature of the person. The horoscope shows inclinations of the person, right? 
<clears throat> now when i say horoscope what does it mean it means when you do a comprehensive analysis of, of the horoscope that will tell you what is the basic nature of the of the person what does this person value in life what does this person mm, ignore in life right what does this person not value so much in life right <clears throat> so once you understand this, then you got to understand, uh, we, we know the nature of the person, but how will this play out dynamically? How will this play out in a way uh, that we can understand where the person is focusing at the moment, right? Because when, when a dasha changes, what happens? There are different areas in a person's life, right? Now, whenever a dasha is activated, which means a new dasha has come, you know, Dasha Sandhi has occurred. So what happens is the person remains the same, but he starts focusing on something else, right? So sometimes, you know, people say, oh, uh, he was a average, you know, student or average worker, but then from the age of 42 or whatever, you know, 39 or 46 or 26 or whatever, or 55 or 60 or 70 sometimes, now, this person became very famous or, you know, did, did something which nobody ever imagined actually, right? So does it mean that suddenly out of nowhere uh, something has happened, you know, at the age of 50 or 55 or 25 or whatever, some magic has happened and something just happens and the person becomes very famous. No, actually it doesn't happen like that. That seed is always there inside the person. But what happens is, when dasha changes, two things happen. Our mindset changes. Number one thing, the first thing that happens is the change of mindset. And then the circumstances also change. Okay, Sometimes it can happen that the circumstances have changed more externally than our mindset. You know, imagine... Uh, you are very lazy, but imagine suddenly, you know, you become a bit optimistic and then suddenly you meet, you know, three people, four people who are very enthusiastic about their profession. Then you are also likely, likely to be more, to become more enthusiastic because of their association, right? Sangha, as they say, or it can be the other way around also. You are alone in a room, but you are having super motivation and you are doing things yourself and you become a millionaire, but just by sitting at your home, right? So either either of the two things or both happens. Generally, when a dasha changes, both the things happen. Okay, external change and the mindset also changes, but it doesn't uh, happen in a way in in ways that we generally think. Generally, people think, oh, uh, you know, uh, this planet is activated, this dasha is here. Suddenly, his life will go from rags to riches. No, it doesn't happen like that. It takes some time, at least four to five years, right? I mean, from rags to riches, if you want to, you can't, that generally does not happen in one night, right? Even if it happens, it's not sustainable, right? Like sometimes uh, we may see, you know, uh, there's a famous story. There was one uh, TV show which used to come, maybe it still comes now uh, in the TVs. I, I don't know, but there's a show called Kaon Banega Karopati, right? Who It's like, uh, who will be a millionaire or somebody, something like that. And then there was one person who won one, you know, like five crores or seven crores, seven, eight crores is approximately one million dollars, one million euros uh, in uh, dollars. Uh, so you could say seven million is almost like a millionaire, one million. Okay, roughly you can say that. But recently there were reports, you know, that this person has now again gone into, you know, debt and like he's not in a nice situation. Why? Because the person uh, had some karma by which he got uh, so much money out of nowhere because of his talent, of course, but he did not have the necessary lifestyle to maintain that, right? He did not have the right mindset and the right habits to maintain that. And that is why he could not uh, keep up with it, right? So that is why he eventually uh, lost most of his money and, you know, he went into a lot of property disputes and all this, right? <clears throat> so this is important for us to understand that if the horoscope inherently is not promising something, then even if the dashas indicate something, it will be very, tem very temporary. It won't be permanent. It won't be everlasting. It won't be something which 
a person will build something upon okay it will be something which the person gets and then loses it finally right but if the horoscope indicates that the person has a good direction has focus on his career or marriage or health or childbirth or whatever it is then when dashas come then there can be considerable growth in these areas okay and then of course we have the transit so first please do a comprehensive analysis to understand what is the flow of the horoscope so once we do that then we know the potential in the chart and once we know that then we can see in which dasha which area of life will be more fruitful for him or which area of life will be a bit disturbing for him right so these are the things which we can actually see when we do a comprehensive analysis so the horoscope is like static okay it does not change it will never change and dashas are dynamic every day is different because every day uh, you are running a different dasha right so you may say oh i am in uh, whatever you know sun rahu venus okay for example but and you will run sun rahu venus for a, a few months for example but the thing is every day the transits will be different right because moon is transiting in a different nakshatra every day so like that the lagnas are changing during transits so everything is changing so no moment is repeated in the cosmos right <clears throat> so then 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 you know that what is the person focusing dynamically right that's changing every time every moment it is changing every damn moment it's changing so when you can see the static and the dynamic together only then you will understand uh, what is astrology right and of course transits have to be seen on top of that it's like the cherry on the top right but if you just uh, randomly see something and sometimes people do the opposite they will first see transits then they will see dashas and then they will see the horoscope oh my god that's like that's like the end of astrology right so then astrology just becomes entertainment it becomes very dull and dry and boring and false eventually because then everything falls apart right people lose faith in astrology people lose faith in astrologers and uh, people lose faith in this divine science of the vedas right so therefore please follow the order first the horoscope then the dashas then transits all right do a comprehensive analysis and only then you will understand what's going on or what will this person do all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me you will find my website down in the description section also and if you're new please subscribe and if you have any questions queries or comments please let me know in the uh, section below thank you <laughs>